You want to see how I got these scars? Actually, I can see you have more than just those scars. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphilis, and welcome to another Figure Fix Friday, where I fix action figures, and most importantly, I fix subscribers' action figures. Right now, I have two figures on the table. I have a Mafex Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This one has a broken head, and this one is a uh, DC Collectibles Joker from The Dark Knight, Heath Ledger. So... What's wrong with these? I'm going to tell you exactly. Today we're going to try something that I hate doing because I never thought I could do it successfully, but I'm going to really try. As you can see here as I'm showing this Joker, it looks like we have the number one problem with most action figures is joint issues. That's right. Usually the joint will break right off and fixing them is really difficult if you do not have a spare joint to plug that into. Um, so I'm gonna try something that someone recommended on the last figure fix Friday and we're going to drill with a pin vise and we're going to insert a uh, some sort of brace to hold that in I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is but before we do that I'm gonna show you what's wrong with these figures so this is a Mafex spider-man as you can see the uh, my subscriber happened to super glue this in hopes that it would just stay and it did not so this is a another sheared off peg. So we're just gonna have to find some way to extract this peg and then we are going to plug it back in. And we're gonna do that by this technique. So what we're gonna do here is someone said, hey, what you can do is you can get a pin vise with a drill and you can just drill that in and then you can uh, use like a paper clip. We're gonna do something a little bit better, hopefully a lot stronger. And well, let's look at this joker leg. I already started on this one. This is actually a, uh, a post for a dental filling or crown. Um, this is, uh, yeah, I happen to find these on Amazon. You can find it in the description down below. And what you could do is you could drill a hole into this and then you could plug that in. And if you're wondering, it's like, well, why do I need that, okay? Well, look how much hardier this is compared to a paper clip. Also, it's titanium coated. This thing will be even harder to break if we successfully implant this into the joint, okay? That's what we're gonna plan to do here. I have two different sizes. Let's see if we can pick one out. Here's another one. Let's see if we can get that to focus. This is a much thinner one. We're gonna try this one on Spider-Man. And we're going to also be using the pin vise right here. So that's the idea behind this, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we need to take off the head part of this, uh, of the post there. And then we could uh, drill, pre-drill into his inner leg here. And then we could super glue those two together. At least that's the idea. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this. I already pre-drilled into that leg. And then we're gonna hold it with some micro pliers. And then we're going to dremel it down. Just the head, nothing else. And there we have it. Let's zoom in right there. This is the post. Hopefully it can focus better. This post is what will hold. As you can see, it is super strong, which is exactly what you want. And there we posted that right there. You know, we could probably screw it in just a little bit. Oops. Actually, it's already there. Uh, what I want to do now is probably super glue that. So let me grab my super glue and we will super glue that in. Just give me one second. So we got my favorite Bob Smith Industries super glue. I'm going to remove this. We're just going to put a little bit of super glue. Remember, a little bit does go a long way. So let's just, with the precision tip, just wanna get it in there. No, nice. Okay, just a little bit's not gonna hurt it. I'm gonna take this drill, like so. That's it. 
Get a little push in. And there. That's going to be our bridge. Okay. Make sure the super glue doesn't get in between the joint. Then this whole thing is useless if you freeze up that joint. So, all right. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take this joker and we're going to use the pin vise. Now the pin vise that I provide you in the link down below from Amazon will include drills. And this is it. So you want to take your time with this. Whenever you're fixing a joint, or doing something like this, you really need to take your time. This is not something that will take very uh, short, or not short, like, it won't take you like five minutes. This is probably a process that requires a lot of patience, a lot of time, and we're just gonna drill into here, probably around there. We're gonna take the pin vise. We're just gonna drill into Joker, right there, if I can. I like this pin vise. It's so small and tiny. And it can drill really well once you get a hold of that where you want to drill. And then you can just go like that. You can keep drilling. All right. Take your micro pliers, clean it up. Again, clean it up again. Okay, now this guy should be cured. Let's do a quick fitment. See if it goes in. Nope, almost there. As you can see, as we're staring into Joker's crotch. He's gonna need a little bit more drilling. And then we can, uh, once that is fitted, clean it up and then we could super glue it. Pin vise is very helpful in drilling that hole so we can get that dental post to fit in there nicely. And once that's in there, it's super glued, it should work really well. It should. Note the keyword, should. I haven't really tried this, but this is something that I've always wanted to do. Um, it really depends on the figure that you're working on too. Now, SH Figure Arts is another problem that I've noticed a lot of people ask me, hey, can you fix those joints is what they say to me. And I'm like, ooh, that is really small. Lucky for us, this Joker has really big joint uh, points in the joint. Like this is a fairly big joint, especially compared to uh, like SH Figure Arts. And it's gonna be really hard to do a, a joint repair like this. Uh, eventually I might do an SH Figure Arts one. I'm, I'm trying to figure out new ways to do it or different ways that will last longer than just a couple of super glue points here and there. Um, okay, so this is starting to look much better as I almost messed that up. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Just need to position the leg. Okay, it needs to go a little bit deeper. But for the most part, see, look at this. It's actually staying. This is pretty neat. I think I might actually be able to do this. See if we can move this joint real quick. Yep, we can. It is mobilized. We're ready to go. Just need to drill a little bit more. Again, just takes patience, guys. Don't think you could just do this in a couple of minutes. No, no, no. Okay, I think that should do it. We need to get in there somehow 
and clean that up. Give me one second. Okay, so what we're gonna use here is a diamond bit for the Dremel. I guess we're gonna remove the cutoff wheel. We're gonna put this in and we're gonna clean it up in there a little bit. And that really should be it. And then we can finally give it a super glue treatment, let it cure overnight. And then we can go from there. So, let's give it another shot in fitment. Ooh, that's starting to look really good. Look at that, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in there or show you. That is a really nice fitment right there. All right, time for the hard part. So we're going to glue this in. Joker's coat is getting in the way. Heath Ledger, come on. Give me a break here. Mona Truth, guys, let's get this thing in. I'm going to try my best to, at least. So we're going to take the super glue. I'm going to remember a little bit goes a long way. Just going to fill it in ever so slightly. Okay. Now plug this guy in. And then we're going to leave it like so. All right, next on the list is the Mayfex Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. So this person tried to super glue the head back in and it just keeps popping off. So what we need to do is we need to clean this up. We need to extract this if it isn't super glued in and we need to do the same pin method and we're gonna be using these, like I said before. Um, <clears throat> if this cannot be removed, I think we're just gonna super glue it in, call it a day. Uh, so how are we gonna remove this? Thankfully, we have the pin vise. Uh, someone told me this is really a good way to remove joints. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can clamp that down and remove it. But first, we need to hot water it. So let's see if we can loosen that up and then we'll see if we can clamp that down. Okay, so let us take this head. We're gonna put some hot water. And again, I don't use a um, hair dryer unless I absolutely have to. There's a lot of uh, error. You can, you can really mess up a figure with the hair dryer method. This one, it's pretty much, there's a lot of room for error for this one. So once that's really heated up, we should be able to pin vise this guy. See if we can get a good grip on it. And nope, we don't have a good grip on it. If we can't get a grip on it, we're just gonna have to result to R. Um, yeah, doesn't look like we can't get a grip on it just because of the way these are designed. And the head is getting cold, so we need to dip it again. And we're just gonna see if we can get in there and remove it. Yeah, we cannot get a good grip on that. Oh man, I'm starting to think that this is super glued in. Ooh, I think it is super glued in. If this wasn't super glued in, uh, I think this would have been a lot easier. But because he used super glue in it, it's going to be really difficult. And I think this might just be a permanent freeze, which is unfortunate because I really want—I really was hoping to get this one going because I know this figure in particular is really hard to find now. Okay, well, that is super glued in. I want to try one, a couple more things before I give up and freeze it all together. I know I said I sh the deep bonding wouldn't work, but I guess in this case, why not? Let's give it a shot. What I have here is Bob Smith Debonder, Uncure. We're going to put some on. 
and we're going to see if it will uncure uh, that. And I guess we'll give it a, a couple hours or two hours or whatever, and we'll see where it goes. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. A few moments late. Okay, everyone, and we're back. We've been sitting here for about two hours. Actually, I've been just chilling out and doing something else. Uh, just playing video games. <laughs> so here we are. Let's look at this neck. I have debonded it, but there's an issue we have here. I have tried everything in my possible power to get this ball joint out, and it is not going to come out, unfortunately. This is so sad. Uh, because it's super glued in there, it seeped in, and it really bonded with the neck. So now we have no choice but to permanently bond this guy. Um, man, this really sucks. I was really hoping I can get that guy out, but not even Uncure can get in between those crevices or, or in between the joint and the neck. To get this out so uh what i'm gonna do now is we have to make sure that this will never fly off the hinge again so what are we gonna do because uh he tried to super glue it on we have all kinds of uneven surfaces there we really need to clean that up and then we're probably going to clean this up too so basically because we cannot do a complete fix of this guy we're just going to have to freeze the joint and we're going to clean this up real quick with this with this diamond bit give that a nice quick dip in water this isn't hot anymore give it a nice clean and blown it <sighs> right there it is we've gotten rid of most of the super glue looks like we're not done yet it pays to have a really nice dremel I just have a really cheap Walmart one, so this one isn't as powerful as something from Dremel itself. But you know what? It gets the job done. Cleaning up this up. The diamond bit. And there we go. We have a nice rough surface there. Let me go grab some something to sand that with. Give me a second. Okay, take out my sanding sticks. I'm gonna go with 180 grit. We're gonna get in there. Make sure that's nice and sanded down. Okay, and we're gonna give this a quick sand. Um, looks like we're gonna use the Dremel again. Give it a quick sand. The more surface area we can get on the neck, the better. Therefore, it'll uh, adhere much stronger, so this will never fly off ever again. At least that's the hope. Okay, I'm gonna grab a flat one. I really like this stick right here. I'm gonna sand it down. <laughs> sand it down real nice. Okay. Looks like we got that handled. Ooh, that's gonna be a really nice fit right there. Uh, first, let's make sure that's where Spider Man should go. Looks like we got that neck in. Okay. Here we go. We're going to just super glue this guy in as best we can. This is a permanent fix. His neck, his lower neck, will no longer be able to articulate, unfortunately. But you know what? It's better to have that than to have a completely broken toy. And so we put some super glue there. And that's it. We're going to plug Spider Man's neck right on there. There you have it. Spider-Man is fixed, um, not to what I would like, but this is pretty good. Unfortunately, if he didn't super glue it, I think I could have saved it just like Joker, which by the way, I have tested, and it seems like Joker is 100%. So we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come with a conclusion of today's Figure Fix Friday. Sup guys, we are finally back. Everything is dried up. Everything's finished. 
let's talk about the conclusion of this figure fix friday this was the most successful uh joint repair i've ever had on any figure um and i think it's due to this i'll be honest with you this one this little tool this pin vise helped a ton now i'm going to talk about what i did uh in conclusion as you can see these joints are fully functional again are they going to be as good as it originally was maybe i i'm honestly not sure i'm still taking a lot of care in moving the joints around and nothing seems to be breaking Whenever you do a repair like this, the figure practically becomes uh, display only. So that's about it. So what did I do? Uh, I took this pin vise with the drill attachment and I drilled into one end, drilled into the other. I got these uh, posts that you can buy off Amazon. Again, link in the description. And these are used for uh, crowns in teeth. <laughs> this is a dental supply equipment type thing. And uh, what I did was I found one of decent length and you're gonna have to measure this or eyeball it. And I drilled into one end and I super glued one into one side and then I drilled into this one with this once again. And I practically glued both ends in, let it sit there for about a couple hours, made sure it was really dry. And now what I have here is a fully functioning uh, joker with movable legs, as you can see here. This is the NECA. Sorry, I said last time it was DC Collectibles. This is the NECA Joker from the Dark Knight. And actually, he seems really good. He's standing up perfectly. He can, each individual leg seems to be moving really well. So yeah, we are ready to go on this one. I'm really happy how this one turned out. Now, when it comes to Spider-Man here, I was so unfortunate that I could not get this guy with a fully functioning lower neck. Um, all we have is the upper neck, which moves really fine. But this is frozen solid. This is not going anywhere. Um, that's kind of sad because I really wanted this to function. And one of the reasons why I couldn't get it to function is because the person who owned this super glued the neck prior to me getting this figure. So what happened was the super glue got into the joint and it really fused them together. I tried to debond it with some Bob Smith Uncure, which is really strong and it wouldn't get in there. I've, I waited for like an hour or two. I kept reapplying, nothing was happening. So I figured since I couldn't get the joint out, we had to freeze it and I did talk to it with the guy who owns this figure and he said, yeah, just freeze it as long as we can get a functioning Spider-Man, which we do have. So there you have it. I just super glued it. How I did that was I got my Dremel with a diamond bit right here. I shaved off all the old super glue, made sure it had a really nice rough surface with this. I used this uh, sanding stick and I made sure it has a really nice surface then I super glued it with my favorite super glue the Bob Smith purple and yeah it worked really well so there you have it I finally did something that I've been wanting to do for a long time but I always just do joint replacements but yeah I fixed both these to my customers liking and here they are the NECA Joker fully repaired and the um Mafex Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man somewhat repaired <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace hey you thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe where right here not there right here you and thanks for watching so rate comment and subscribe right here right there right here yeah